We have actually a lecture on ticks uh, from a veterinarian from Ohio State uh, who's going to talk about the implication of tick-borne disease in Ross County and what we can do to control them. And that's going to be at 1800 hours or 6 p.m. Um, and we will have some giveaways in order to promote uh, people attending. It's extremely important for anyone that does any outside activities, whether it's fishing, hunting, or mushroom hunting, I think is a, coming up in the spring. Uh, we've already seen the nymphal ticks, the very small tick that can attach to people and transmit disease in southern Ohio. Part of it is because the winter was relatively short as far as prolonged cold, and they had a relatively quick warm-up and then it cooled off again and I think they're just waiting for a blood meal. I think people are most afraid of Lyme disease and Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever because uh, they're the ones that have been publicized more often than not and there's significant potential long-term consequences with untreated disease. Um, I think early intervention and for the individual it's early tick removal prior to the tick becoming engorged uh, will allow them to decrease the probability of acquiring a tick-borne disease. We're going to be promoting the use of a, uh, of a clothing insect repellent uh, in order to try to have people focus on uh, preemptive issues that they can take part of prior to going in the wilderness. Permethrin is a spray that you place on your clothing, you let dry and it's good for five or six washings depending on how you wash your clothing and it repels the ticks prior to them even climbing on you and so it, it's a, a decent early intervention along with DEET uh, which is a topical uh, skin insect uh, repellent um, that should help uh, decrease the probability of acquiring a tick bite um, and of course the most important thing is skin inspection after being exposed and remove those early nymphs uh, within 24 to 36 hours to decrease uh, disease acquisition.